One significant issue that arose whilst the Grenada Constitution was being reviewed relates to how the Governor-General is selected. As it stands, the process of selecting the Governor-General is done through what is termed an electoral college consisting of all members of Parliament. The issue was one of major contentions by the NDC when it withdrew its support to the Constitution reform process earlier this year. But Legal Affairs Minister Elvin Nimrod says concerns were taken on board and as a result, Cabinet has omitted that recommendation. Cabinet senses that this might unduly give the perception of interference Mm -hmm. in the affairs of selection of the Governor General. And of course, this is one of the chief reasons why the Cabinet... (laughs) did not go along with that uh, amendment for parliamentary approval. He also gave a review of the six bills which will be tabled in Parliament soon. Election and tenure of the Governor General, increased rights and freedom, term of office for the Prime Minister, and also fixed date for election, and the assurance of the appointment of a leader of the opposition, no matter what the results of an election might be. Also, of course, the change of the name of the state from Grenada to Grenada, Carico, and Piti Matnik. The creation of a boundaries Commission. And then, of course, we have the restructuring, repositioning, and renumbering amendment. He says 90 days must expire before the second and remaining stages of the bills are taken through all the stages in Parliament. Government says $2.1 million has been allocated for the constitution reform process. Joseph McKee Smith, GBN News.